Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com doing 2017-18 Upper Deck SP Authentic Hockey 4-Box Random Team Break number 3 from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Big thank you to these folks right here for getting to the action. One spot gets you two teams, so let's double up your names like Sir Mix-a-Lot. And we combo that one team right there. We combo the Wild and the Lightning. The Wild Lightning to make it 30 spots. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize each list five and a four nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. So after nine times, we've got Cruz on the pole and Peter Ang in the 30 spot. Five and a four, nine times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine times, we've got the Carolina Hurricanes on top and the combo team on the bottom, Wild Lightning. All right, so Cruz with the Hurricanes, Ashley with the Senators. You also have the Rangers, Ashley. Josh with the Canadians. Colado, you have the Las Vegas Golden Knights. Paul Cool Whitlock with the Nashville Predators and the Boston Bruins. Uh, Patrick with the Edmonton Oilers. Ashley with the Capitals. You also have the Red Wings and the Coyotes. Derek with the Sabres. Chad with the Blue Jackets. Ashley with the Maple Leafs. Derek with the Flames. Rich with the Blues. Josh Proust with the uh, Panthers. Cruz with the Canucks. Rich with the Kings. Colado with the Islanders. Cruz with the... Flyers, one of your last spot mojos, your other last spot mojo, Jets, nice. Patrick McManaman with the Devils, Paul Coolwit with the Avs, Rich with the Blackhawks, Chad with the Stars, Rich with the Sharks, Peter with the Ducks, Penguins for Paul, and the Wild Lightning for Peter Eng. There you go. Feel free to trade if you'd like. know if there's any trades while you are trading let's figure out or thinking about trades let's pop open the second inner that we pulled you can tell by the X marks the spot from the previous video video one of the brand new SP authentic we upload all of our videos pretty much immediately after the break All right, so four boxes on the left side, four boxes on the right side. Let's roll the die. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it's three, so we'll be doing the left side. So this side will be reserved for random team uh, four. So we're doing three now, random team four. Uh, we should be able to do tonight. So that's, that's my chicken scratch right there, random team four. Slide that over here. Um, and whoever got the Oilers, he uh, Claudio is asking, whoever got the Oilers, Knights or Islanders, perhaps, for a trade. I'm not sure if Patrick's in the room at the moment, but if you're around, Patrick, there's a potential trade offer for you. All right, doesn't look like there's any trades. So let's close up the trade window and let's get this break going. All right, so trade window closed. Good luck, everybody. Let's print this guy out. All right, good luck, everybody. So 
hot off the presses here is the official list. No trades, no trades on a Wednesday. Thanks for hanging out with me on a Wednesday night, folks. Appreciate it. Always fun to hang out with everybody. Bust open some boxes, pull some nice stuff. Hopefully not skunk you tonight. Sometimes it happens though. Part of the game, part of the game, but good luck to all. We are watching, uh, well, I've got the Rockets uh, Warriors game. Warriors at Rockets. Got that game on the TV. I'm spying on the uh, Winnipeg Vegas Golden Knights game on NHL.com. Just kind of tracking it through there. So, now I don't follow too, hockey too closely, as you can tell when, when I try to pronounce some of these names. Um, but uh, educate me here, ladies and gentlemen. Who, who are we thinking for the... Well, who's going to win their respective conference finals? What do you think? And who's going to end up winning the Stanley Cup? So the Capitals are leading the Tampa Bay Lightning 2-1 to one in the series. And the Jets and Knights are tied at 1. So who comes out of each of those series? And who ends up winning the Stanley Cup? What does everyone think? Hockey fans. Or if you're not a hockey fan, you still have an opinion. Rather hear from hockey fans, though. It's stunning how how far the Golden Knights have gone this season for an expansion team. I guess people are looking back and saying, well, in retrospect, the, the way the draft was structured had really had really helped this expansion team be, you know, better than previous expansion drafts. But still, I mean, they're they're still, to a certain extent, unwanted players, right? On the on the Golden Knights, players that the other teams didn't feel good enough to protect. All right, so good luck, everybody. Here we go. These authentic moments are pretty cool. Henrik Sedin. And Future Watch, Colin White. Spectrum FX Level 2. Nice. That'll be for Ottawa. That's going out to Ashley. And Alex Kerfoot out of 999 Future Watch. Robbie draws. How do you get money for cards? You got to be a little more specific than that. Like, how do you. Well, you get a job and you save up money to buy stuff. Is that what you're asking, or are you asking how do you you sell cards? You can sell them on eBay or other res other places. You can sell the cards for money, if that's what your question was. At a 9.99, Tucker Pullman for the Winnipeg Jets. That'll go to Cruz. Last spot, Mojo. Next stack. Nice young guns. Steven Stomp goes for the lightning.
And Sidney Crosby. Another Spectrum FX card going to Paul Cool Whit with the Pittsburgh Penguins. Nice. There you go, box one in the books. So nobody has opinions on, uh, apparently nobody has opinions on, on, on who's gonna win each conference series and the Stanley Cup. Not even a guess? No, no one cares about hockey. Just like they just want the hits. Yeah, Jaden's like, what's a hockey? Even the even the hockey fans in this break, no one no one's piping up. Maybe they're just buying just to see a break. They're not they're not really interested in the, in the hockey. Well, here's what I think. I think the Las Vegas Golden Knights will. Uh, do they have home ice advantage? I think they're the number one seed, right? Yeah. So I think it'll be the Capitals and the Golden Knights in the Stanley Cup. And the Golden Knights have a great home record. Uh, they've got a great home record. They're already leading one nothing right now. And uh, I don't know. Someone someone said that the Na the Capitals were going to be a pretty good competitor. So we'll see that. I'll just I, th I think it's just cool to cool to see the uh, see the underdog, the expansion team Knights, kind of make their way through the Stanley Cup playoffs. I think that's pretty exciting. Yeah, definitely a surprising team. Now my interest in the Golden Knights is is uh, their regular season record, where where they played incredibly well at home. People call it the Vegas flu, you know. So road teams come in during like a regular season game. Maybe they maybe they go out, you know. And if any of you adults have been to Las Vegas, you know what happens in Vegas. A, it stays there, and B, you know, you know how quickly things can turn on on, on a night like that. So maybe that happens to uh, to hockey players. I was about a lot of free time. Oops, it's five in the morning. It's got a four o'clock game, and you're exhausted from the day before. So that could be it. So I'm thinking, since I'm an Oakland Raiders guy, since I'm a Raiders guy, I'm thinking, well, when the Raiders move to Los Angeles or uh, Las Vegas, that is. I wish they moved to Los Angeles. I wish they came back. Um, when they go to Vegas. Who knows? Maybe, maybe they'll have a little bit of a bit of a boost because of that. Uh, Dotchin, Jake Dotchin is your future watch FX level one, Tampa Bay Lightning. That'll go to Ash. No, not Ashley. That goes to the combo spot, Peter. And Brock Bozer is your future watch autograph. He's on the box. I know this guy. 437 out of 999 on card auto going to Cruz and the Vancouver Canucks. Bam. There it is. Cruz is happy. And there's Anders Bjork. 287 out of 999. That'll go to the Bruins. Paul Cool quit with that one. All right, next side. So how much does that autograph go for? Does anyone know? I think this this is a good exercise to kind of give uh, the the people who are not hockey fans or not familiar with hockey uh, values will give them a good idea of what what things like cards like that could go for. So if someone wants to look that up for me, I'd appreciate it. 
Zanza Kopitar, Spectrum FX for my Kings. That goes to Rich. I think some people might be surprised. There's Jeff Glass Young Guns. Might be surprised at how well an out of 9.99 rookie card, how much that'll go for in a secondary market. Nice. Looks like limited football is sold out, so that'll be happening after this. Football fans. And two boxes go here. Second to last box. Good luck, everybody. And Brock Bowles has got a nice autograph. I like what he's doing there with the auto. Cruz is saying there are a few still in auction at around 150 bucks. Nice. That's not bad for a $30 spot. And it'll probably probably be a little bit more than that. And that's just for a nine out of nine ninety nine. So you can kind of start wrapping your head around, ladies and gentlemen, about about you know values of these sort of cards. How many autographs do you know in the football? There's a few listed around four hundred bucks or best offer. There you go. So how many autographs in football? Or Rich say yeah, Rich is also saying most that are four hundred or best offer. So how many autographs in football or baseball can you get that are numbered to $9.99 that'll go for a few hundred bucks? Not many. So you can start wrapping your head around the value of even the top rookies in baseball and, uh, and, and, you know, and basketball even. I mean, with the exception of like Otani and stuff like that, but it's pretty amazing. And there are a lot of players in hockey. You know, it's a limited, it's a classic supply and demand thing. Very, very passionate fan base and a relatively small supply from Upper Deck. And you get some nice value, even from, you know, they don't always have to be the top rookies either. You still might get some great, great hits. All right. Or great value as well. Second to last box. Good luck, everybody. And Julius Honka. Future Watch autograph to nine nine ninety nine out of nine ninety nine. That's the last card he ever signed. There you go, Dallas Stars with that one. That'll go to Chad with the Dallas Stars. Nice, yeah, and that, that Nico, that unsigned Nico Hersher card that we pulled for Rich in the previous break, he's saying that goes for about 75 bucks. Non-auto, so you can start to get, a, get an idea of the value of this stuff. We've got Global Calligraphy, Phil Hoosley, Where does he go?
Let's look at the checklist here. I think he is a he is a Buffalo Saber. It's not calligraphy, by the way. It's chirography. <laughs> oh, there he is. There, there's the logo right there. I missed that. There you go. So that goes to the Sabres. Derek with the Sabres. Future watch for the Predators. Alexander Carrier. 653 out of 999. Nashville Auto going to Paul Coolwit. Johnny Goudreau. Tanner Fritz, Young Guns. Connor McDavid. There's Ben Bishop, Spectrum FX. Dallas Stars, another one. Chad. Patrick Lyon. -A. There's Nolan Patrick. That's numbered right there out of 999. So that's a nice one for the Flyers. That'll go to Cruz. One of your last spot mojo. O'Reilly and Duncan Keith in the back there. There you go. Last box coming up. Got that Brock Bozer. Good luck, everybody. The second half of the case is already in the store. Second half of that second inner case from the master case we popped open is in the store. So go ahead and check it out. Last one, folks. Good luck. Looks like they're at halftime in the NBA game. Golden Knights still leading 1-0. And the Warriors are up 64-50 to at halftime. Kevin Durant leading the way with 18 points. A couple rebounds, no assists. And the Rockets look like they're playing a lot better basketball. A lot of even scoring all around. Trevor Ariza. Nice 15 points, four rebounds, three assists, couple steals. PJ Tucker, 14 points, a few assists. James Harden, 14 points, a couple assists, four rebounds. Eric Gordon, 13 points. Chris Paul with five assists already, a few steals. Only three points, but like he's distributing pretty well. So a lot, lot better performance from the Rockets. And Kevin Durant's the only guy in double digits right now. I'm sure that'll that'll change at some point. I mean, the Warriors can just heat up super quickly, and then boom. Next thing you know, the Warriors are dropping a crooked number on you in the third quarter, and you're like, you're blinking. You're like, what the heck just happened? We do have basketball on the site too, boys and girls. A lot of great value in basketball. JaspiesHobbyland.com, brand new rookie class. The latest rookie class.
All right, good luck, boys and girls. Last box in the hockey. I'm sure we'll do that other half at some point tonight. Future watch, Travis Sanheim for the Flyers. That'll go to Cruz and the Flyers. There's a uh, Nedel Jovic. Nedel Jokovic? Jokovic? Ned Yelj Kovic. How about a Kovic at the end there? There's Alex for the Hurricanes. That'll go to Cruz. Tim Heed out of 999. Taking Heed is San Jose Sharks. Rich with the Sharks. Future Watch. Autograph. Milestones, Austin Matthews. Colby Cave, Young Guns. Tuka Rask. Ivegni Kuznetsov. 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 For the Caps, Capitals with that one. You're a good possibility to, to win the Stanley Cup, right? Win it all. Ashley with the caps. S Steve Yeiserman, Gretzky, and Patrick Kane. And there you have it, boys and girls. That's your break. Thanks very much, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Pulled a nice one. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.